Hey, you doing here? Okay, so um, well, I'm going to do my test on my microwave, the Kenmore that I thought was going out. Got it plugged in to my 20 amp cord out here in the garage uh, on a 20 amp circuit. And uh, that's the one I use on my welder. Just going to go ahead and cook the TV to me this time because that way it'll cook long enough to see what it's doing. I want to see if that cord heats up like it uh, had done in my house. And because um, we, the other one, the new one we bought, uh, we're in the breaker twice. I just found out yesterday. Uh, my mom and my brother. So, um, let's see. Okay, I'm trying to remember how many minutes I do that for. Okay, it's on parallel 10, which it always does. When you unplug it and plug it back in, it'll always go back to 10. And it's the only way we can figure out how to get it to do that. So, I know I have to squat down to get in there. Then I'll probably look pretty silly, but I don't care. Um, so, I'm just going to... It's pretty chilly out here in the garage this morning. About four or something, four thirty in the morning. But uh, I'm just going to uh, cook this, and then I'll take it back in and eat it. And, uh, first, you make anything good, you gotta put the cheese on it. So I'm just gonna do the whole thing, and I can sit here. That's still cold. It's not warm enough. So if this, of course, what, what was warming up was the uh, corroded <coughs> and rusted uh, male connector inside of the, uh, uh, at the end of the power, uh, the uh, power strip, which was, I couldn't see it because it was, well, we just, we don't go look at it all the time, but anyway, didn't sit till I pulled this uh, adapter, the ground lift adapter off of it. <coughs> I knew that the ground lift adapter male plug had one of them had burned and heated up. <coughs> and I sent it all the black off of it. It wasn't rusted or anything. And that rust tells me on the other, you know, on the power lift, uh, the, uh, I can't even think straight, didn't realize it. Tells me that. Uh, let me go grab them. I keep I keep re going through this in every video, but uh, well, while this is cooking, this um, this is what I'm talking about. See, I cut it off and put a new end on on the power strip, but it it not only uh, was burnt, but it had rusted, so it. To have a chance to get more, you know, enough moisture out of the air or whatever to, uh, I mean, out of the air mostly, maybe pull, maybe the heat pulled a little out of that plastic, but there had to be some time gone by. That, so it didn't just happen yesterday. And this is the uh, adapter that had burnt, and that's what we noticed first. So then I sanded on it and cleaned it up so that I, you know, still use it. And uh, I mean, I didn't get, it wasn't real flat, but. So I didn't get the middle. You can still see the streak of the black. And this is the old uh, plug that was in the wall. And it was, um, there was... The screen on the camera makes it so hard to tell if you're getting a good shot. So anyway, the bottom was burned a little bit too. That was the bottom one. This was the top one. Because I moved it to this one when we got our new microwave. Well, it started making this, you know, we smell that burning electrical smell, burning plastic smell first time we ran it so uh, that's when I got in there and investigated and discovered that, that you know that this was hiding inside uh, it was you know they were put together I'm not gonna put it all the way on there but they were put together and it was hiding in there so check that stuff first don't wait like I did I uh, was planning on replacing the plug and I just hadn't got done it yet because we didn't think the oven was coming in until Monday. Well, this is Monday night, Monday morning or something. This would be Tuesday morning now. I've been staying up all night instead of sleeping like sleeping the night like I'm supposed to lately. So.
So there it is. Of course, now I got my hands dirty, and uh, so now I can't put my cheese. I, I sh now I can't put my cheese on my uh, TV dinner. So I'm gonna have to go back in and wash my hands. I know it wouldn't kill me, but I'm not. After fooling with all that junk, I'm not gonna touch that. So I guess I'll stop the video and go back and uh, wash my hands. Be back.